Hi there, it's Phil from Parklings.com. I hope you're all well staying and enjoying your day. Uh, now, it is actually 10 days after I sowed those seeds. It's the 31st of July already. It's hard to believe we're actually 10 days past that. It's crazy. Uh, but I did say that I was going to keep you up to date with how we go with those. Um, the cucumber seeds, of course, but there are other things. Zucchinis, courgettes, we even put some zinnias in and sunflowers. Uh, so I'm going to show you where we are with those. I want to try and get some more produce before it gets to the first frost, of course. Uh, but also... I want to see something, I want to learn as to uh, some timelines, because those kind of things, they're not going to survive any kind of frost at all. So let's hope that we're going to get something good. I'm going to show you now what we have. This is our first tray, let's have a look. Wow, these are the cucumbers and courgettes, they are looking nice. Okay, so we have got here cucumbers starting on the left. Uh, now we have market malls here, as you can see, we've got six of them. No, we haven't. We've got five. I'll tell you why we haven't got six. Because just about to see there, I think. That little green thing there. That's all that's left from it. Oh well, never mind. One got eaten. So we've got five in here. That's good. Uh, Dragon's Egg is next. And uh, we have five out of six of those, which is good. Uh, pick a bushel hybrid. Uh, let's see. So, well, there's nothing in that one. That one's just starting, so we've got three that are there and one starting there, one starting there. So we'll see. Um, then after that, uh, we have the National Pickling Cucumber. So if we could just bring this over, we've got one, two, oh, that's one as well there, three, four, five, six again. Wow, interesting. Um, okay, so, and uh, just so you know, if you see in here, you've got these two leaves. They're sort of like starter leaves as such. The one that's coming out here, that's a true leaf. So like this one here, you see that's actually got the first two, then you've got two true leaves and this big, big old one here as well. Um, that's looking good. Um, so, and that one actually is the Black Beauty Courgette. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All of them again, 100%. I wish I had this earlier. Um, Italian Rib Courgette we had three of only. That was the end of the pack. One, two, three. That one's just starting up. And this one here, look at that. The still stuck to it. But if we just uh, squeeze it a little bit, come straight off, no harm. <laughs> and uh, the last things here, these are sunflowers. We've got three of them and we've got two of them come out. They're the ones called a woe, W-A-O-O-H, exclamation mark. It's the only flower I know or plant with an exclamation mark on it. But I think that's good. And uh, these ones here, these are definitely ready to go in. And uh, these ones here are pretty, these ones here I think I'll put in, at least half of them. And these ones I don't think they're quite ready yet. I'll give them a few more days and see how we go. But as I say, we do have another one. So let's put this to the side. So here we go, number two, germination. Love it. Now you can see on the left hand side, they are just like the other ones, cucumbers, but they market more 76. And you may be asking yourself, why is it the silly Phil just did two loads of market malls. Well, that was a test. I have tons of these seeds. If we look at these ones here, though which we did get six, even though it shows five, that were actually seeds from the packet directly. Now, I did them last year, and these were from ones I saved from one of the cucumbers last year. So these are my seeds, not packet, and I am so pleased that they came through as 100%. Great germination. But this row here is Zinnia Queen Lime Red, and this is Zinnia Mix Crete 2023. So basically the ones I got from, uh, you know, from our town, our village, I should say, um, from the display they had. So we have none of those. That's, uh, as I say, a Zinnia and another Zinnia. But I do have, at the top, one of the three here, Queen Lime Orange, Zinnia. Interesting, we have one of them, and down here, that one is one of the three dwarf dandy dahlias. However, all of this is dahlia fireworks mix. So I'm having a bit of a weird result here with these. And uh, the last row, while well, there are two missing, these are Genovese basil. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight plants there. That'll go between my uh, to my tomato plants once I've actually got them to grow a little bit more than that so they're not ready yet to be able to take it out I will leave them in there for a little bit longer but as for these I think I know why let me go into it 
I think this row here of Market Mall 76 cucumbers is the best thing of all because that row there at the front, that one, they are Market Mall 76 cucumbers that I got from a packet of seeds. I purchased them, then I let one get really old at the end of the season and I managed to slice it out, take all the seeds out, save the seeds. Just went through a process of saving them and these ones here are some of the seeds that I saved. Now I know now that I can give some of these seeds away or I can sell some of these seeds safe in the knowledge that I've not got a load of rubbish, I've got decent stuff and as you can see there, 100% germination, that is good. But, this is what I want to discuss, all of those that aren't there. So we've got 18, so we've got 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. A lot of missing plants. The reason I think there's a reason is we have some really nice weather and uh, thought, well, that's great. We'll leave the trays out. Actually, you're fine overnight. Then we had one day with a thunderstorm. These were placed in what I thought was an okay position, but it turns out it was right underneath where the downpipe is, stroke was, and uh, the water came through, should have gone down a pipe or such, but it went straight through, right into the middle of this tray. Didn't do the other one, just this one. And so I think basically that water's made it overflow, it made things just squirt out, or maybe the seeds have gone to the surface because of it, and then maybe birds have eaten them, I have no idea. But for the time, you know, for having, let's say, you've got two there, you know, you've got this one here and that one there, to be quite that far gone, and there's not even a single little bit coming through there, I think that's what it is, and I think it means I'm going to have to sow some more, live in hope something happens really quickly, and as I say, this is just a test, so if it doesn't work, no problem. I know that this state line is no good. So I can mark that down, and this is the reason why you know, I'm not just doing it as a YouTube video, obviously I am, but uh, this actually means that I now have a bit of history here. I can go back and I can check my date lines and see at the end of this year what I've been doing, and then plan out what I've got for next year so I can make sure the timing is a lot better than it was this year. So that's great. But, as I said to you, I only really needed three of each cucumber. I have most of them. So I've got like five here, another five, three, and six. That is really good. So that's fine, got enough. I can play around with them, some, plant some fine. But these courgettes, zucchinis here, they were mainly for a test. But, good thing I did it because I had squash beetles after these were sown and they cause a lot of problems they're all over the place and you know there were, I caught some of them they were mating still um, <laughs> the other ones the little tiny ones uh, running around the eggs under the leaves and basically they're making a right mess of the squash they then attack some of the courgettes as well and basically the way it is now all the plants that I had which are actually on the ground uh, rather than in the tall raised beds those ones they've had a lot of damage and they've only got about four zucchinis left now and that's it and then basically the plants have to be taken out because there's nothing yeah they're not going to do anything uh it's too late now so these as i say are going to be ready to go in uh because as you see from down here <laughs> look at that lot there all of that the root system it actually has been that long now that it's taken all of the water that i'd actually put in here uh, basically a I put some in today and there were some in there yesterday as well um, so obviously they've taken that they all need to be um, wet again I'm not going to transplant them like this because they would be otherwise too dry so I'm going to put some more water in here now and the raised bed needs watering as well because it's been a hot day and uh, obviously that's drying out as well and we don't want to shock the things so we're going to make sure we do it properly and uh, yeah as I say the other ones they've done pretty darn well I'm happy with them so let's see what happens this is, as I say, a good test. It's going to give me a dateline, and hopefully, as well, it'll help you do the same thing. Okay, and uh, as I say, anyway, from the previous video, I think um, we used to be zone 5B here in uh, south uh, suburbs of Chicago. Uh, we are now 6A, um, so there has been a minor change. So, you know, you can go by basically really both. Um, I'm still really going by the 5B, and that way. I think it's a better way for me because then I've got a bit more space anyway between the 5B and the 6A. Uh, so 
we'll see how it goes. Um, but it is only the first year since they've changed it, so I don't know. See if they know what they're doing. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm going to put these down. And uh, everyone, I do hope this has proved useful for you. Uh, please do uh, stay with me on this because I'm going to release another video in a matter of a uh, number of days. And then we'll see how the ones that I'm keeping in the tray for now, how they are. And also how uh, the other ones are, which I'm going to transplant um, hopefully today and otherwise within the next day or two. Uh, so let's all hope, hope and pray it'll work. So everyone, you take care. Goodbye and God bless. Bye-bye.